History of the Golden Cross, 1968 to 2016, and welcome to the video named as such, as I'll take a look at that, the Golden Cross, and internet definition can state it is a bullish breakout pattern formed from a crossover involving a security short-term moving average, such as a 15-day moving average, breaking above its long-term moving average such as a 50-day moving average or resistance level. In easier terms, it's also a smaller number over the larger one. So in this case, yes, 15 over 50, 50 over 200, 20 over 100, and so on and so forth. The term golden cross is an interesting term for a cross as shown on the chart is when the smaller one rises above it thus you could say taking control it's also an easy viewable nameable pattern but the word golden has been used on so many instance instances within english language the golden rule you also can hear it says good as gold there are several several things that will use golden and it is in term for something that is really good and within the golden cross the term for very good would refer to what would normally be a bullish pattern so we're going to take a look at some of those bullish patterns and in this silver chart we're going to take a look at the upcoming uh, golden cross but the moving averages that I want to look at will be the 50 and the 200 day moving averages and the 250 1000 which would represent close enough to the 50 and 200 week moving averages as well. So without further ado, let's go back to this chart. The blue line represents the 50, or the 200 day or the 250 day moving average 50 week approximate moving average and then the 1000 day or 200 week average which during the last run in the previous summer was resisted not yet tested since interesting situation in here as it came from resistance of the 1000 and support not found at the 250 therefore further decline we'll move this rolling over and the 200 will continue to uh, fall higher than where the 250 is price action getting above these levels would force this novel to rise above this thus creating a golden cross so we're going to show the history of gold because that's what golden is on its golden cross and it's going to be data the one we're going to look at is the 50 day moving average rising over the 200 day moving average the first of three columns represents the date in which the golden cross occurred the price in which the gold was at on that date and what occurred after that date as far as price of momentum was concerned all these levels can be cross-referenced. They're all available and all your dates should be give or take a few days. And if you use the exact same data as me, the exact same days. I'm using LBMA data from 1968 to 2014 and then freestockcharts.com for all the dates after that as the LBMA pretty much stopped checking numbers at that point. So with that being stated, I'm st I've got whether the price went up or down after it occurred. If it went up, it went up without any problems. Everything was normal. If it was down without any comments, same thing. It was a good short bet. Nothing in its way going long and so on. But if there's anything in brackets that represents, well, in say January 21st, 74, it uh, went up, but first it went down. And then the next time, well, it went up a bit and the gains were short-lived. 
This was a situation where it went sideways for a long time. First of all, it broke the cross at 417, but you had to wait a long time before this thing would have started to break out. This went down, but only a little bit, and it rebounded fast. You had a situation where it went up, but limited gains, and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of ones that are scary along the way. The final ones will be the more longer term ones, the weekly ones, I guess you could state, the 250 rising over the 1,000. And it's only occurred five times in gold with a record of three wins, no losses, and a tie because right now it's live. 1977, it happened. It went up. Slow start going up, though. 86, slow start again. 93, it was sideways, but more bullish. 2002, it went up and slow start. And so far, it's been two months since it went past this point. And the price is the exact, around the exact same as I'm doing this video. So no matter what it does, it's going to be a slow start. It's either going to go up or down, or it's going to go sideways if it continues doing what it's doing, and that's doing nothing. As far as silver is concerned, it's had more situations of this occurring. And you can see the dates. In 2003, it was a very scary one. Had you bet on the Golden Cross, a lot of people would have been scared out along the way. The last time it occurred was September of 2009. Well, it took about 11 and a half months before it finally broke out to its large gain of 50. And it took less than that time to get to 50. So again, a very slow start. And as I go back to the chart again, it's only a matter of time before this will cross over with this. Again, it's probably got to get up to about here. And then that will result in the eighth time in Silver's history that this pattern will come into play. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day.